Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to download IMDB datasets and convert them into SQL friendly format. That's a lot of acronyms, but basically, by the end of this video, you have a database file on your desktop, which means you'll be ready to grab data from the database using SQL, Structured Query Language. Okay, let's get going. The first thing I'm going to do is I'll go to a browser and search for IMDB datasets. Like that. Make sure this is the official website from imdb.com and click on this one. Okay, so this is what the website looks like. It tells you where to download it, uh, some additional details about the database and a list of tables. Now I'll go ahead and click on this one and this will take you to the download page. So these are the individual tables. I'm going to click on each one of them and uh, download these zipped folders. You might have noticed they all have this .gz file extension. Um, they're basically zipped folders, so we'll have to open the archives. Let me go to the downloads. Okay, so they're almost done. Yep, yeah, I will let it finish the downloads. Okay, so the download is done. I have all these .gz archives. Uh, what I will do is I will select all of them, right click and open with archive utility. Okay, so this will, this is going to open all the archives. Okay, so I have all the TSV files. If you're not familiar with this format, .tsv is similar to .csv. CSV stands for comma separated values, whereas TSV stands for tab separated values. That's the only difference. Next, I'm going to install the database browser. I'll go to a search engine again and search for DB browser and maybe SQL. Okay, yeah, this is the one, DB browser for SQLite. This is basically an SQL editor. So go to the download section and download the one that works best for your OS. I happen to be using the Mac OS version, but it works with other operating systems. And if you're not sure what version of Windows your computer is running, you can simply go to the start button. That's the big Windows logo on the bottom left of your screen and go to settings. Uh, this should tell you if you're running 32 or 64 bit. So go ahead and install the DB browser. Now I already have the DB browser installed, so I'm going to open that. So this is what the DB browser looks like. We don't have any tables yet, so it looks empty at the moment. Click on this button that says new database. And let's save the file on the desktop. You can name the file whatever you want to. Um, I will call it, let's say IMDB or maybe IMDB data. That's it. And hit save. You can close this pop-up window for now. This is what you would use if you were creating your tables manually, but that's not what we're doing in this course. I'll be importing files. So I will close this just to show you what it looks like. If you go to the desktop, you'll see a new .db file like this. .db is a file extension for database. Now that I have this .db file on my desktop, I'll start importing the TSV files. So select file, select import. The DB browser gives you an option to work with an SQL file or a CSV file. I'll select CSV and go to downloads. That's where all the files are. Now you can see that all the files are grayed out. The reason is the DB browser works with CSV by default. So I'll click on this and change that to tab separated values dot tsv like this and i will click on the first one name dot basics dot tsv 
hit open and I'll keep the table name and make sure the field separator is tab. Sometimes it defaults to comma. If you were working with .csv file, you would select comma. But right now I'm working with tab separated files. So I will select this one. Okay, and I'll hit okay. Now it's importing the first table into the database. So I'll give it a few seconds. In the meantime, I will go to the I will go to the downloads and I will delete all the zip folders because they're not really necessary. And it looks a bit cluttered. So select all the .gz folders and delete them. Okay, the first table is done. You can see that there's one table contained in this database. I will save the database at this point by Command and S or Control and S if you're using Windows. Okay, and I will go ahead and import the second file. File, import, table from CSV. Go to downloads, change that from comma separated to tab separated. We already have this name.basics. So I will go down in the list. I will actually skip AKAs because it's one of the larger files. Uh, if you have a look at this list, title.akas is about 1.3 gig. And if you look at the instruction, it tells you that this file is about this file is about localized names. I feel like there are plenty of tables that allow me to do a lot of interesting analysis. I don't necessarily need this AKAs table. I'm going to skip that just to save some space. Uh, but if you're interested in it, go ahead and select this one as well. In fact, if you do end up doing something with this AKAs table, please share your findings in the comment section. I would love to know what you've done. Okay, so I'll skip this one for now and I will import this table, title.basics, and hit open. Um, I think I'm going to change the table name because if you look at the list, pretty much all the tables start with title.something. Um, so if you name this title, it's going to get very confusing very quickly. So I'm going to call this one basics. like this, change the name and hit OK. This will take a few seconds. In the meantime, just in case you're getting confused about all these tables, what we're doing is this. So we have this .db database file and in the main database file, we're going to have a couple of tables. So we have two tables now and we're naming each one of them. So we have the database and under that we have a couple of tables. That's the structure. Okay, I will save the file with command and S. I'll keep going. File, import, CSV, go to downloads, change this to tab separated. Um, I've done the name of basics, I've done title.basics. Next up, I will import this one title.crew open and change the name to crew like this okay and save it so follow the same steps and import the rest of the TSV files I'm going to carry on for my purpose but I think I'm going to speed up the video at this point Table from CSV, go to downloads, change this to tab separated. Um, I've done title.crew, so next up is title.episode. Change this to episode, like this. Okay, this one's done. Command and S. Next, I'm almost done. Table from CSV. Go to downloads, 
cut separated values and then title.principles. I'll change this to principles with PAL. OK. OK, and hit save. I think I have one more file to go. Table from CSV, go to downloads, and then tab separated, title.writings. Change the table name to, oops, ratings, like that. Hit OK. Yep, this one's quick. OK, I have all the TSV files imported into the database. I'm going to hit save. So this is what it looks like. This is the table view. We have six tables inside this database now. You can also browse the data. If you go to basics, it gives you a preview of what's inside these tables. And execute SQL. This is the view you will spend a lot of time with. Uh, this is where you write your queries. I'm going to write a very simple query here. Select asterisk don't worry about the syntax for now i will explain what this command does and show you all the other useful queries in the next couple of videos for now i would just like to show you i would just like to give you an idea of how this db browser works okay so this is the query i'll execute it and this is the result of the query okay hopefully you have a database .db file on your desktop by now. In case you're having any troubles using TSV files, I will do another video and explain how to convert TSV into CSV. If you've managed to convert everything into a .db file, you don't have to do anything else. You are ready. Go ahead and carry on with the SQL tutorial. You might have noticed I skipped AKA's table on purpose in this video. But if you do use that table for your analysis, please share your findings in the comment section. I would love to find out what you've done with SQL. Okay, that's it for now. If you'd like to continue with this tutorial, you can keep watching the series up here. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel down here. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.